We're back here on the John 4K Show, sponsored each week by Veterans Ford. It's our player spotlight, and we're going to take a look at a guy that uh, surprisingly decided to come back and play his senior season at LSU, Tredavious White. And uh, John, just thinking about it, you know, here's a guy who would have been a late first round pick. Uh, I thought he had a good season, not a great season at LSU last year. And you got to go back to Glenn Darcy as a junior was the last time a guy who was graded as a first round pick decided to come back to LSU. Everybody else has decided to turn pro early. Uh, goes to show one thing with Tredavious White. I know why he's wearing that number. He gave up a lot of cash in his pocket, so to speak, to come back and play his senior season at LSU. And only losing one guy, Gerald Hawkins, that tells me there was a lot of guys that maybe felt as though unfinished business at LSU. And that's what has to be the case there for him to come back as unfinished business. He's also a really good kick special teams returner, uh, punt kickoff return guy that could, could help in the NFL. But I think if he's got a grade, he might have got a grade late first round. Uh, he wants to maybe move up to the first top ten, maybe or something like that. Because when cornerbacks come out and they're that good and, and they good as flipping he is, it fast. Yes, yeah, so I believe this much. He's coming back for his. He wants to improve his stock to move himself up. It might have unfinished business, but if you get, get all the unfinished you, business you want at LSU, if you ain't got somebody to toss that ball around, I don't care how much unfinished business you're talking about. But I'm glad to see he is coming back. I like to see some of these guys. I love to see kids say, you know what, I'm gonna come back. The money's there, the money will be there. Yeah, and, and, but, and you can also buy insurance to make sure because we saw Jalen yeah. Smith spend his money right in this offseason, buy insurance. He goes all the way through the season, gets hurt in the bowl game, and so you know that's certainly going to have a, a negative uh, on where he's going to get picked in the draft. One young man who's still not made up his decision yet on where he's going to attend college, but certainly LSU and Arkansas is in the bunch here, is Christian Fulton cornerback from Rummel. And John, you know a lot about him. Uh, his choices, Arkansas, South Carolina, Florida, basically the top schools uh, in the Deep South, all after Fulton. And, and you've got to see him play all those years. He was part of a group uh, with Chase that really made a great run for Rummel Raiders. Well, I'll say this much for Christian. And uh, I've watched a young man play. He is phenomenal to watch. Uh, he's a baller. There's no doubt about it. There's, whoever gets him is going to be impressed with this young man. He will play as a freshman. There's no doubt about it. You know, he's good friends. He, he hung out with Chase. They played together all them years, four years at Rummel. i uh, got to give my hat off to Chase Forcade, who's going today to Maryland, University of Maryland, for his official visit. They offered him there at Maryland. It's funny how we'll all these little happened. short quarterbacks and, they and say. And that's what I'm trying to say. Committed. When, when the guys here locally, the schools around town here tell me a quarterback's six foot three and under, we don't recruit. But that school goes and offer a scholarship to a kid who's 5'11", shorter than my little nephew. But Christian was really upset the fact that this school didn't offer Chase Forky. That's how good he'll be. I'll tell you this much, Mike. Whoever gets Christian Fulton is going to be one heck of a proud coach because this young man will step up as a freshman and play right now. And he's played in different packages at yes, Rumble too, so that helps him out. That's the key. That's funny because yeah. I know he's played safety. Right. He's played cornerback. They've moved him inside so they'll play slot receiver guy. He's blitz quite a bit. He's all of everything right there. He's rated number two cornerback in the country for a reason. Now, physically, he's going to have to get a little bit stronger. Yeah, no but, but one of the things is his cover skills, and I can't find somebody off the street that can cover like what you know, uh, Christian can they, do. They talk about defense about as a ball hawker. That's and it. That's what he does. Ball skills. Defense. He's got ball skills to go up and get that football, know where it's at. And he studies quarterbacks. That's the thing Chase used to tell me. Uncle John, man, Christian kind of knows what quarterbacks are thinking and doing when he's out in that field. Uh, one of the top players in this draft class is Jared Goff. And uh, for Saints fans, you hope he's off the board real quickly because more than likely he's going to go to Cleveland. John, we've seen him play. He's right at the six foot four mark. He's, I mean, razor thin. 215, I mean, that's stretching it a little bit too. I got to talk to him quite a bit at the Manning camp and uh, his accuracy skills. Here's a guy who's completing almost 65% of his throws at the collegiate level. 43 touchdowns, just 13 pass interceptions. That tells you his accuracy skills. Uh, he's got good size here. I think he'll grow into that. I was telling you, doing a, a, a television show, who he physically looks a lot like? Vince Farragamo, who was at one time the starting quarterback for the Los Angeles Rams. Well, you did talk about it, and you, and you, you were talking about how much of a man crush you had on Vince Farragamo <laughs> because uh, you were talking about how good looking he was and this and that. Uh, he's not quite as thick as what you know Vince no, he, was and that but you write about one thing he does throw the football like Vince did uh, I'll say this I, I saw him play one time and Vince uh, started at Cal yes he did I he saw him Nebraska. play uh, one game and I was like wait a minute I think the UCLA game I saw him play he looked really horrible in that football game but as the year went on I got to watch him a little bit and he's definitely gonna be a first round pick and if Cleveland's 
as smart as we hope they are with you, Jackson. You've got to take this man, clean house, and make him uh, your starting quarterback. One of the things, uh, in, in talking to Vince, he said in coming out, it was totally different playing at Cal than at Nebraska. One of the things golf has, I think, a big advantage at the professional level is the fact that he has played in a scheme of right. reading coverages, the second man, the third man downfield, and you don't see a lot of those guys entering the NFL. They're, they're not used to, they're used to throwing to a spot, and that's, not my, going my, to a second and, and third And that's guy. why when these kids go to school and you run, say, the spread offense where you're running the ball and you hope you can throw and they don't really have a package for that, that's why when you go like the Californians and the coaches who have – I, I don't call it spread. It's a wide open offense, but they learn to throw the football as a drop back passer, read the coverages, read what they give you, and you have here, here, to here. That's why quarterbacks want to go play for these coaches, and that's what this young man did over in California who said, look, I want to be a quarterback who throws the football, and I'll run if I have to. I don't want to be a team where I'm a running quarterback who has to throw down the road. It, it, the spread offense kills drop back guys. You know, one of the things I know I'm getting old is uh, Jared Goff. Uh, I knew his dad. He was a catcher with the Houston Astros, uh, so he comes from yeah, he, he comes yeah. from that athletic family, and I think that will make the big difference. His ability to read coverages will have Jared Goff headed to Cleveland. We'll Don't be, forget to tell Vince Ferragamo hello on TV. Hey, yeah, Vince. Yeah, Vince. No, no, Jared. He ain't GQ like Vince, but he'll make a lot more money. I told that to Vince too. We'll have a lot more here on the John Forcade Show, sponsored each week by Veterans Ford. Ha, ha, ha.